Functions are found in almost any programming environment. A function typically performs some task and often takes some data as an input and may return some data after performing the task. As an analog, we can think of a simple task such as make coffee. This task could also have some data as an input, make coffee, two cups, and the expected output would be two cups of coffee. Functions are useful because they abst abstract away the details and inner workings of a task serving as building blocks for creating more complex functionality. Functions are frequently used, for example, to request a device to do something or to filter and format the data in a specific way. In Composer, there are two different types of functions, formula functions and flow functions. Let's first take a look at a flow function. First, let's create a button component. Then let's open up the logic canvas for the button from the bottom bar. On the canvas, we can see a component tap event node. Any logic connected to this event is executed when the button is tapped. On the left, we have the flow function library. From the device section, let's drag in the scan QR flow function. This flow function works such that it first opens the device camera and having scanned a QR code, returns to the application with the data from the QR code. You can find the descriptions for what a flow function does in the properties panel on the right. Let's connect this flow function to the component tap event. Now, if we were to tap the button, the logic already works and the camera opens, but we are not doing anything with the result yet. To display the QR code data, let's drag in and connect an alert node to the logic flow. The scan QR node has three outputs. These represent different outcomes for the flow function. The first output is used when a QR code was scanned and the data is returned. The second output is used when the user exits the camera without scanning a code. And the third is for some other type of error. As we want to get the data from the QR code, let's connect the alert node to the topmost output of the scan QR node. The alert node has an input argument for the dialog title. Having connected the nodes, we can now bind the dialog title to the output of the scan QR node. Here we can see that tapping the button now executes the scan QR flow function, after which the logic proceeds to the alert flow function, which displays the output of the scan QR function. Being able to string together multiple functions and their inputs and outputs enables us to create very complex logic in our applications. In the next video, we take a look at the second type of function in Composer Pro, formula functions. So what we just did, created a button that has a component tap event, connected the scan QR flow function to the event, connected the alert flow function to the logic flow and used the output of the scan QR function as the input for the alert node.